<laughs> you guys, I'm trying to help Natalie really rock, and it's it's a struggle. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Travelers. It's Key and Nat, and today we'll be showing you guys an updated look at our housing situation. We're starting a new contract, so we want to show you guys what we're working with now. And on top of that, we're going to be discussing living alone versus living with roommates, and then furthering that into living with friends versus living with strangers. And the pros and cons of both. So stay tuned, and we'll see you shortly. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right guys, so this is our home. When we first enter. So we have central heat and AC. A lot of homes in the Bay Area don't have that. Um, Cause it's generally very cool up here. So I'm grateful for that cause I run hot. This is our kitchen guys. Leading into the dining area. This is Haven, some chairs. We have our living room setup which includes the 60 inch tv and we have a half bath moving back into the dining area stepping outside we have a little grill and then this is our neighborhood so far very peaceful Beautiful skies in the bay. All right, next we're going to go to the third floor, which has our bedrooms in it. Okay, first we're going to the master suite, which is my room. You pay more. <laughs> so, have about, what is this, a full size bed? And I have my closet. Next we're going to go into the bathroom. And actually my room and Natalie's room, we each have our own bath. So it's a full bath with a shower. All right, so y'all know I love saving the bag. So I took the smaller room, um, saved some coin. I'm a woman of very little needs. So I have my bed, I just showed you. And I have a closet, it's slightly messy. So I'm not gonna show y'all, but it is there. And then I have also a full bath. This is my room. Ooh, hey. <laughs> okay, so first topic of discussion. Living alone versus living with roommates. So living alone, of course, does have its advantages. For me, I'm someone who usually opts in to live alone and I enjoy my privacy, but I felt it would be nice to share some expenses with someone that I know. And I feel like it would just be a little more fun. I mean, you do have your own space in this situation, but we do still share certain things such as the kitchen, the half bathroom down here on the main floor and the living room and the TV, which you know sometimes we have to go back and forth <laughs> but it's great because uh, we do have different schedules for the first time in this contract I'll be working evenings and Akil will be working nights and of course on top of that we also have different schedules different days that we're working so we'll pass each other we'll see each other some days I'll be working some days she'll be working and it's definitely another opportunity or way in which you can have a roommate situation but still feel privacy. So living together, we are splitting rent and that's big in travel nursing. One way in which you save money, which we talked about in other videos, is taking that housing stipend and finding housing that's cheaper than what they give you. And with that stipend, for you to only have to pay half of that because you have another roommate, I mean, I am paying slightly more because I do have the master bedroom, but uh, <laughs> yep. we're working on that and we're still, I mean, cutting our expenses in half. So. And on top of that, we've been also meal prepping and it's been super beneficial going to work, having your meal and like saving your coin, honey. Them hospital cafeterias is expensive. So with the social aspect of it, in regards to safety, me and Natalie are two young females and sometimes it does help to have that second person with you when you have to go to the grocery store, the pharmacy. You have that second person to be that security blanket for you. Also living with roommates, you have human interaction. 
interaction. You have someone you can have a conversation with, you're having a bad day, you can emotionally vent. But okay. Natalie wants to tell me about her day or cry <laughs> on my pillow. My room is always open to her. But when I want to be left alone. <laughs> Vice versa. We do just have that conversation like, sis, I don't work a 12 hour shift. I'm here for you. I don't want no smoke. But we might, <laughs> but we might have to move this conversation to another time when I get my hours of sleep. This first is actually out. my first time living with a friend. Right. Is yours and too? It's my first time living with a friend, you know, someone that I didn't necessarily know no prior. prior to moving in together, but I haven't had any bad experiences necessarily. I've heard of some things from other, yeah. <laughs> from other friends. I was you know? told that's how you lose friends. So we both had experiences living with strangers. You don't know if you're gonna have an angel and you know, develop that into a friendship or the spawn of the devil. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have to kind of do a background check. I mean, you yeah. want to know who you're living with. You have to do a little FBI investigation. Yeah, and we all have social media. So let's use social media to your advantage. It's your friend. <laughs> Having a roommate that's a stranger, it can be a scary situation. One, you don't know that person at all. Two, as far as expenses, you like you're kind of tied to that person, so you have to rely on someone you know nothing about. <laughs> I've heard some crazy stories. Do you guys have a crazy yeah. roommate story? Tell us in the comments below. So you guys, we hope you enjoyed the tour of our humble abode. Please, again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. All buttons are down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Please like, comment, share. Okay, no. Okay. Like, comment, <laughs> share. Sure. Sure. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's focused on me. <laughs> okay, you ready? Focus is on the biggest head. <laughs> <laughs>